Hi Scott, my name is Bharat and I'm a big uh, fan of your podcast. Um, I have had success using uh, methods from your podcast for my private label and I've had the um, ability to do about 10 units a day in organic sales combined with PPC, I guess. Finding it hard to figure out which one's organic versus uh, which one's PPC driven. But I'm doing on an average about 10 units a day on one of my private label products. Are there tips and tricks as to how you scale up from 10 units to 20 or 30 units uh, per day in sales? If that's something that you could touch upon in one of your podcasts, that would that would be great. I deeply appreciate it. Right, thanks much. And keep doing what you're doing. Great job. Thank you. Hey, Barad, congratulations, first off, on uh, hitting 10 sales a day. I think that's awesome. And I want to touch on a couple of different things, a couple of different, I guess, a couple different things we should talk about here is about the 10 sales because you said that they're organic, but then some of them may be pay-per-click. So that's the first thing that we should probably look at. If you turn off your pay-per-click, that's going to instantly tell you how many organic sales that are being made. The other thing you can do is see how much you're spending per day on those or on that campaign and then see how many sales that you're getting generally if if you could look back in history a little bit so that's another way to kind of figure that out now the other thing that we need to discuss is well two things first off how much depth is in the market that's a big one that a lot of people don't look at so that would be i would need to know that before i could say how many units a day i think that you could sell if you are at the bottom of the depth and I mean, what I mean by that is if, uh, let's say that the top two sellers for your product are selling, let's say, let's say they're selling 30 a day. And then as you get down to the fifth spot, maybe they're selling 10 a day. And then maybe the seventh spot, they're selling five a day. And it starts to get less and less as we get down in, in the rankings. That would make me say, well, depending on where you're ranked, if you don't get the one or the two spot, you're probably only going to get those, you know, five or 10 sales a day. But if you tell me that the depth is really deep, meaning like one through 10, they're selling 20 plus a day and you're just, you're at the bottom, maybe you're at the bottom of page one or maybe at the top of page two and you're getting 10 sales a day, that's kind of exciting because now I know that if we can do a little bit more marketing, a little bit more pay-per-click to force ourselves on page one or up higher in the ranking, then we know that we can probably take that 10 sale uh, or 10 sales a day and then bump that up to 15 or 20 sales a day. That's the first thing we need to know. We need to know the depth of the market. So anyone listening right now, I always, always talk about this. This is one of the most important the one of the most important metrics here or the, the things to look at is the depth. You really need to think about this vertically, okay? So if we're looking at something vertically and we see the number one spot is at the top and number 12 is at the bottom, well, we need to see how many sales are running up and down, you know, as far as that depth, okay, that vertical, okay? So if, if uh, the number one and the number two are taking all of the sales, and then as you get down to four, five, six, seven, they're really weak, that's not depth, okay? The depth is very weak. But if we can take, and let's say the first uh, seller's doing, uh, you know, like a 500 a month, and then the next seller's doing 400 a month, and the next one's doing 300 a month, and the next one's doing 325 a month, and the next one's doing 200 a month, we, we need to see the depth there, Okay, and that's how we can establish if we can come in at the bottom and if we can get sales and then if we improve our rankings, we can get more sales. So that's depth. And I'm kind of harping on this because it's really, really important that you understand that. And anyone listening understands that depth is really, really key uh, to see the growth potential in that product. Now, the other thing that could help even without ranking higher is if you have another product or two that complement that one product. Okay, that's huge because now if you have one product that's driving 10 sales a day, you launch product number two, that's driving 10 sales a day. Now, each one of those could piggyback off of each other or cross promote each other, even just running an external promotion that is being fed from one listing to the other. Okay, now without getting too overcomplicated here, uh, you know, as far as like figuring all that stuff out. 
usually if you have another product and that is complementing the other product, you will get some crossover sales almost automatically. But the other thing you can do now is you might launch that product and see that it's getting more volume as far as sales. That's going to then allow you to show that particular product to more customers over time. That's why I like focusing on building a product line and not just, you know, going out there and randomly picking products. Uh, because I do think that the long term, you're going to be able to have much more success by selling, you know, products to the same customer rather than going out and finding five different customers in five different markets. So I hope that that's helped. It's, I know that was kind of like a long winded and we kind of went around a bunch of different uh, angles there, but it's really important to understand that because it's hard to say that if you're right now selling 10 units a day, if that's all that you're going to be able to do because you're maxed out, I don't think it will be. And especially in the fourth quarter, obviously those will probably most likely go up and maybe different times of the year, it goes up depending on the product. So all of that stuff needs to be considered when thinking about how many sales you think that uh, your product can generate. So I hope that that's been helpful. Uh, again, good luck to you and congratulations because I think that that's awesome and that's momentum. And as we get momentum, it just continues to grow as long as you can uh, find other products that support that product or vice versa. So I uh, hope that that's helped. Well, hey there, thank you so much for listening to that episode of Ask Scott. Now that was just a highlight from one of our full episodes where I generally answer three to four questions on a podcast. If you wanna go back and listen to all of the past archives of not just the Ask Scott session, but all of the full episodes where I do interviews with top Amazon sellers, people starting from scratch and building a business, if you wanna to listen to any of those episodes, head over to theamazingseller.com and you can find all of that over there. You can also find details there on how you can ask your own question and get it aired on an upcoming Ask Scott session and possibly see it here on YouTube or just on the podcast. All right, so definitely head over to theamazingseller.com there's tons of resources over there for you to be able to build your e-commerce and Amazon business. So definitely go check that out. Now, I just wanted to remind you one thing before I let you go. There's a lot of information out there and some of it is really, really good. But what I want you to remember is you have to not just consume the information, you have to actually apply that information. So take this information that you learned here today and apply it to your business. And this way here, you can get results. As my shirt says, I wear it almost daily. Take action. We'll see you guys.